Hey, what's up guys? This is Proto Dead, and I'm welcoming you back to another one of my long plays. Today I'm going to be playing some Metro Last Light Redux. This is the re-release of the Metro game, the sequel to the first Metro game. This is the second one in the series. Um, this is based on a book series out of Russia from the author Dmitry Glukovsky probably pronouncing that wrong but I think that's what it is. This game's currently uh, available on Steam. It's the year 2034 beneath the ruins of post-apocalyptic Moscow in the tunnels of the metro. The remnants of mankind are besieged by deadly threats from the outside and within. Mutants stalk the catacombs beneath the deathlet the deathlet thurfeth and hunt amidst the poison skies above. Of course, this game has been rated very positive among the community. I'm sure you can find it on more than just Steam. I mentioned Steam earlier. You can probably find it on Epic Game Store or whatever. But uh, this is Metro Last Light Redux. So this is the uh, the renewed, enhanced HD remastered version of the game that's available. And uh, whenever I played through the, while recording this, I noticed that uh, that it did look very good and it sounded very good. In this first episode, I think I had some frame rate issues. I straightened those out, but this first recording, it feels like the sound kind of came out of sync with the frame rate there towards the end. But uh, we'll we'll see if we can clean that up a little bit. This is of course episode one in the series, and I am going to uh, this is going to be the complete playthrough. So you know what a long play is. Hey, it's no bullshit. It's no memes. It's no jokes. It's no extra bullshit. I'm not going to be doing any commentary or anything like that. This is my playthrough of the game, and this is how I played it. So uh, give me a like if you like this sort of stuff. Give me a dislike if you fucking hate it. Comment down below um, any tips for me or any, you know, uh, hey, hey, did you know about this thing in the game or in the story or what have you? I haven't read the books yet, but I'll get around to it. So uh, if, you, if you like my sort of stuff here, man, remember to subscribe and share the video with a friend. If you like this sort of stuff, I appreciate it a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'm going to catch you in the future. When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact, it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a truth buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, a soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. 
All that remains of her is that day in the garden. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. The Dark Ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Just a... <laughs> That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! 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 What's going on here? Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. 
During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. Until our guys stumbled on it. Everything inside was untouched. Weapons, medicine. <laughs> like finding buried treasure, eh? I suppose it's nice down here since they got the reactor working. The lights, the heat. But still, it doesn't feel right. Like, it's... Привет, Artyom! Artyom was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, it's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? Quit whining. It's a gift from your ancestors. Enough to survive down here for decades. Maybe until the world up there will take us back. You keep dreaming in the bathrooms. For me, it still feels like every patrol outside could be the last. Did you hear what happened to the Romanus group? Come on, you no. have five more sets of 30. Oh, he was in the hospital from the attack on the Great Library. <laughs> Look at those two rookies. Carry on. Pathetic. No wonder the colonel ordered training to be done. And Romano's the only one who makes it their life. You're shitting me. Tighten your guns. Rest of the group with the fight down. The marshes are easy. You just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. A child could do it. Well, okay, the shrimps always gave you hell. But come on. What could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanovs alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people, he just speaks to God. <laughs> Hope Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you're a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to blow water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advance salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment for merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smart move. Good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Rangers usually carry up to three weapons, Artyom, and the choice of those is completely up to you. Down. 
Shotguns are always good for stopping power at close range. <laughs> Just don't go try to snipe them. Get lost! To the position! Lost! Fire! Alright, Archie. Head over to my range and try to stop it. Come back if you want to try it. Some are welded shut, and there's a few that look like they were locked from inside. So what? So there's radioactive shit behind some of those doors. Hot enough to bake an egg. Miller's calling the group leaders in. There's going to be a big assembly. Please, Osip, let me smoke in peace. I was on duty in the Situation Room yesterday, so I heard something. Seems like there's all kinds of things stirring up. What do you mean? The Reds are mobilizing. They've recruited old men, schoolboys. Sent them off to the camps. I tell you, war is coming. Who are they going to fight? The usual suspects, probably. The Nazis. It reminds me. The Central Stop site spotted three Egon groups of Reich stalkers. Strange. The Nazis have never been outside in such numbers before. Three groups, you said? Where? Two of the squads came close to this place. Observers. The Nazis checked the base. Sellers said they were searching for the country. Shit. I think they know we found D6. So, you're here an expert on this hell and its denizens? Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. Open the gates! True. He knows about the Nazis. Have you heard about the Snitsky? What are you talking about? Check with the guards at the lab. Shit. What the hell did he do? Area! Open it up! We are the guardians of the entire world. We protect our family. Alright, let's go. Was they were there to do this. We used to be 
The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this banker. Cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Gold steel, and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit. So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have it. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they base the order dream of finding. The guys just came back from the ring. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially hey, the ones. Anyone know what the buzz is about? Ordered all Why the men summon? assembled here on this base? Herman, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyo, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the Order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Orders ever faced. Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artem, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna! Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close. Too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming and I'll need every ranger at his post. Now on your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind. 
Our Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes, smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno, yet Khan did find a dark one there. Now my mission is to find and eliminate it, to finish what I started. In the past, trains were ordinary things, but now, this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things, and their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. nest. That's a good sign, Rabbit. Maybe we'll have luck with this mission, too. Power's working. Open the gate. I'll cover the passage. Great. You did fine after all. All right, the map shows a collector entry point ahead. Move, I'm following. Get inside, don't be afraid of a little dirt. Go 
right, there's a dead end on the left. Something alarmed him. Stay sharp. Shit, that was fast. You got reflexes, I'll give you that. Great, the ladder. It's just a little more walking. Then we'll see if you're a rabbit or a man. Surface, put your mask on. Give me a hand here. Let's go to the main entrance. There's a good shooting position there. I can cover a lot of territory. You're supposed to be immune to there. What? Influence? Well, I don't have your gift. So hop along, rabbit. Head on in and look for the creature. I'm thinking that since the Dark Ones are so fond of you, they'll sense you, or smell you, or whatever the fuck they do, and come from hiding. Just try to stay in the open so I can cover you. We'll maintain radio contact. And if you have second thoughts, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay then. Good luck. Looks like we pretty much cleaned the place. 
How are you? Hey, you all right? Hey, Artyom. You're doing a decent job. Maybe you're more than a rabbit after all. There's something at the edge of the crater. A tree is blocking my view. The creature I met in the burnt-out remains of the gardens looks like a dark one. And it was able to enter my mind, dragging the innermost out of me. But it was also just the baby. And I am sure that it recognized me. And got scared. It also left me knocked out for some time. Just enough for me to get captured. Seems like they were looking for something. These two are dead. They refuse to speak. The third one looks like a ranger of the Order. A mutant the size of a child was caught near him. It was delivered to Reich as well. I'll deal with it later. This one. Suspected mutation. No, no, I'm normal. See, two arms, two legs, ten fingers. Don't you understand? I'm a Hatsa citizen. Shut up! You're uh, not in Hatsa. Here, you are a suspect in the distribution of corrupted genes. Hey. And this is your trial. If your skull has the correct proportions, you are free to go. If not, you are an abomination. Science, you see. 
This is an outrage! I told you to stay still! Well? Let's see... 318 millimeters by... 302. Let's look it up in the table. Ah, congratulations! You're a mutant. No, no, please! To the garbage chute. A safer question. What was your mission in the garbage? Go to hell yourself! Nazi! I'm gonna count to three. One. Glory to the red line! Two. Long live covered mask fin! Three. Please! Please, I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk. But, but, but away from the other side. They'll kill me if they hear. Okay? Take the one to the second unit. Usually, right does not interfere with the order's business. But here, we have you, the Reds, and the freak, all caught in the same net. I do not like it. So talk, or take a bullet to the brain. Get the officer! Hey, you! Here. You keep the knife. Keep it. So, uh... We are with the Spartan Order. I'm from the Red Line. Uh, our superiors are not on the best of terms, huh? But I say, fuck that. No, fuck that. The grunts stick together, huh? <laughs> the fuck? I see. Oh, ты, ты смотри. Remotely controlled lock. One thing's for sure. Our only chance of getting out of this alive, work together. Right. Now, what did they say about the garbage? Shoot. Okay, let's get our asses out of this place, then we'll go our separate ways. Huh? Come, see the pipes? This is their contingency plan. There's a riot and an escape, they just open the valve and turn the prison into one big gas chamber. Suki, sure learn from their predecessors. Shh! We'll go as soon as the elevator leaves. Let's move! Sweet mother of God, I heard rumors of a concentration camp here, but to see it with my own eyes. Bleha muha. Hey! Follow me! There's a tunnel on the other side. Okay, I lead. You follow. Now keep it quiet, or they'll guess everyone. Let's move! Stay out of the light and stick to the shadows. They are your best friend. That, that looks like we cleared it. Let's see. Let's see. A great. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. Tough luck. Didn't even budge, huh? All right. We can't go through here. That we know. Okay. Where do we go now, huh? What if... Hey. Hey. Give me a lift, will you? Now listen. Pretend you're a little fucking mouse. What? Get down. Do you Don't make any sudden moves. See? Well, let's move. To think Carefully, huh? Like claws. You can do nothing but harm, and we will Freeze. save innocent lives just by shooting you. No, we're not going to shoot you. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Pure say shooting is so good for me. They deserve nothing more than that. And it's a good show as well. <laughs> 
Follow me. Cura is infallible. Of course. The hangman man empties his bowels, and we can clean it up. Okay, it's you take the right one, I the left one. I will distract mine, then you take yours down. Verstehen? Get to it. Don't start too soon, huh? Do it! <laughs> How's this? You beat him to death with a shovel. It's a vicious and elegant. Look at that! You're lucky. I was afraid you'd squeal. Hey, do you hear me? Look, there's a lever. It releases the ladder. If you pull it, the ladder comes down. Get as many of them as you can. We're done anyway. You ain't gonna do squat besides get us all killed. And screw the light bulb. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? What? It's probably enough. You're spoiling our gene for free. No, please stop. Stop. You can't do it. What? Floor! Let us keep! Let us keep! Let us keep! Hey, why? You are so good. They saw you. No, no, no. Why do we have to die? You take the right one, I the left one. I will distract mine, then you take yours down. Verstehen? Get to it. Don't start too soon, huh? Let's do it! How's this? You beat him to death with a shovel. It's efficient and What? Look at that. You're lucky. I was afraid you'd squeal. Hey, do you hear me? Look, there is a lever. It releases the ladder. If you pull it, the ladder comes down. Get as many of them as you can. We are done anyway. You ain't gonna do swap besides the cells, will you? The controls are up there. And, the and screw the light bulb. You go to that side. Maybe there you will be able to climb up. Let's meet on the top. Hey, Spartan! Break a leg. Food! Some food! Hey! That is dragging well or what? Well, young man, I see you're not here for a walk. Open the locks! I, I didn't know this script, though. I would not want to be punished for your failure. Well, well, what's making you stop? You had a good start. Just go on as did. My life has no value. I will die and it won't matter. What do you mean you released it? Are you out of your mind? I don't know. Just looked at him and somehow saw myself. And that trader from Hansa kept pestering me to sell the creature. Said there were ways to shoot it, that it pay good money, so I just... Show me the bullets. Sure, sure, look. I'm ready to share. It's too much for me alone. Just don't tell the other Shafu. I got 200 bullets out of it. I'll take half. Well, well, why are you walking around here? It's just that our shift is in. Then you have no further business here. Off to the barracks with you. Yes, Herr Oberschaffuhrer.
wing too. So what's up? Oh, I thought we had it bad. Tell guess us if they hear you. No, simply none. The only thing I can do now is You're die. good. But be careful. If they notice you, we'll all be gassed. Opa, you made it. <laughs> Maladiet, true hero. Now we need to get them to open the airlock from the other side. That button on the wall in intercom. Push it. So come on, push it. No, 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 don't panic. Push, we'll figure it out later. Congratulations, you can panic now. One moment. Much better now. Who the hell is so impatient? What kind of joke is this? Come on, quit hiding! Fritz, is that you? Damn it, I'm not gonna open next time! It's not even funny! Yeah! Let's play the fucking hide and seek now! Like freaking kids! Get an airlock! Let us out! Let us out! There's a control panel up there! You can open all the cells! I can't stay here anymore! Please! I wanna live! I want to live! We're broken! Don't fly! Close the airlock before more arrive! Let us out! How is he supposed to open? The lock panel is up there in the card room! Let's get out of here! Close the airlock! Perhaps someone's heard something after all? Hey! Open this up! You want to be in the blood? And the fun is just starting, William! Here! Catch this! Nice watch. Ah, this little blue indicator, it lights up when you visit, huh? Alright, there's bound to be more guards further ahead, but they won't be able to use gas. We can really let ourselves go. Ah, I wish I had a grenade. No breaks to even the guards. Let's move here. Yeah. You take the lower route, I'll take the top and cover you. Kind of noise. No. <clears throat> One down. Take a look on the other side. There should be a switch just like this one. Oh, do you see the guys in those cells? Yo, my, most of them are disfigured, mutated, arms. Found it? Push it! What are you looking at, huh? 
Ah, that's probably the cell lock control board. Choo-choo-choo-choo, leave it the way it is. Priyati, when I get home, I'll leave all this place. We'll come back and rescue everyone. But first, we have to get our asses out. Don't think too much worry to any right whatsoever. Like humans, we need the children of the super Okay, enough with the sights here. We've got to get there. Yeah, lights moving, right? As soon as the door opens, you get inside. Let's move, Priyat. My escape from the Nazi prison could be entitled The Enemy of My Enemy is My Friend. This friend's name is Pavel. He led a Red Recon team wiped out by the Nazis. I never liked communists much, but Pavel acted like a real hero. Oh. So, how are you, Chuvaka? All right? Oh, you are tough, huh? No wonder they made you a ranger. Follow me, don't stop. for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.